Okay, I'm calling all work professionals. Are you tired of sacrificing your style for showing up to the office? Because I know personally, I've turned down jobs if they're not gonna like allow me to show some sort of my personality. So we're gonna dive into some outfit ideas that you can wear and still feel stylish without like having to compromise and only wear black and gray and all the boring things. We're gonna show you how to dress fun and still professional. And side note, I really love working here at Bella Ella because even though I'm dressed like Bruno Mars right now, I'm like, my silk outfit. I still get to work here and it's super fun. So find a job that lets you dress like Bruno Mars, please. Here are 15 game-changing outfits to level up your style for office or work. So after COVID, I know that's like the unspoken word. We don't want to ever say that because that was a dark time in all of our lives. But after COVID, a lot of offices went to a more casual vibe. A lot of people work from home. So a lot of people are able to dress more casual, which is good in some sense because you don't have to show up buttoned up in a suit and tie. You can kind of play with it a little more, more color, more relaxed fits. So that is one good thing to come out of COVID. The dress codes are a little bit more lax, which is a really good thing because then you can have more freedom when you're dressing and you can show up with a little bit more personality and feel more relaxed at work. I just want not every day needs to be a runway show, but that would be a lot more fun. We spend the majority of our time at work. Why not show up to work in things you love? And that way you can really showcase your personality and your style while making money at work. That sounds like the best of both worlds to me. Here are my 15 outfit ideas for dressing for the office. I'm gonna do five business casual looks, five elevated casual looks, and five fashion forward business looks. So let's jump right into the first five. These are the business casual looks that I've decided for inspiration and just some good general references when getting dressed for work. The first outfit reference that I picked is this two-piece satin set that's from Gucci. I kind of inspired my own look today by this. Super relaxed and comfortable, but a little bit more elevated since it's a nicer material. So it can just be simple things like that, like picking a two-piece set, maybe opting for something like satin or tweed versus like something traditionally like cotton that can like look a little bit too much like sweat. So it's really just as simple as that. And then pairing it with an elevated shoe, like a loafer versus like a sandal or something. Going into the second look, this one is pretty simple as well. It's just a black jumpsuit, but what makes it a little bit more elevated is she chose to belt it at the waist. So just adding a little bit more accessories here gives it that elevation it needs instead of it looking super oversized and relaxed. A simple belt brings everything in, keeps it professional. And then the jewelry that she chose, really dainty necklace. And it even comes down to her hairstyle that she chose, just a slick, sleek bun pulls everything together and she just looks like she's ready to go to a meeting or a business lunch. So really simple. Everyone owns a black jumpsuit, so it's as simple as adding a belt and making your hair look neat and nice. Going into this third one, this is a pretty simple one as well. She has on a pair of wide leg slacks. Again, everyone in the business setting is gonna own a black pair of slacks. So it's just taking that one step from what you would traditionally wear with it. She's paired it with an oversized button up shirt. And I love the sense of an oversized button up shirt because it dives more into the fashion side of things versus the traditional fitted button up shirt. And then she took that one step above by adding like a shoulder shirt, like a sweater and making it like a little shoulders high thing. It's adding a print, it's making it more interesting to look at. So that's a really great business casual. And then she took it a little bit more casual with adding the baseball cap. But like I said, since we work in a time after COVID where we can be more relaxed and still be professional, adding a pair of sunglasses and the ball cap, it just like looks cute. And she could like hop from the office to drinks with friends. It's a really versatile outfit, but she still looks put together and it's still a modest outfit, which is like a great way to dress when you're getting dressed for work. And going into the fourth outfit, this one is pretty simple as well. This is just a little puff sleeve dress. It's one piece, but that is the great thing about finding your own style. It's just all about simplicity. It's just having enough options and ideas to pull from so that you're not wearing the same thing every time you get dressed. So even in this one, she's just wearing a pretty simple puff sleeve dress, but she opted for something with a fun print. So that's bringing that interest element. It's making it fun. Normally you would wear something like this to a brunch or like a bridal shower, but pairing it with like a white sneaker and pulling your hair back, it's a perfect work look. You could belt it, you could throw a denim jacket on as well, but it's just about adding interest and you don't have to stick to boring colors even though you're working in an office. You can show your personality. Same thing here. She's not showing a ton of skin or anything. She looks professional. She's just being fun about it. The fifth look for business casual is super fun. This has a lot of color as well. She is wearing a pair of green slacks here. I love the color green if you can't tell. I literally love green. So she's wearing a pair of slacks. Again, this is a staple item most people have, but she decided to make it fun with getting a pair of slacks in a fun color and then taking it one step more and adding it with a colored top too. Blue and green are complementary colors. And then she kept it pretty simple with just keeping her accessories white since the basis of her outfit is really colorful. So again, super simple, but just play with color, play with textures, and you don't just have to wear black slacks and a white button-up shirt. You can make it fun. Everyone in the office is gonna be coming to you for outfit advice. Now we're gonna be talking about elevated casual looks for work. Think about you normally wearing a jeans and t-shirt or 
jeans and a hoodie, very casual, but we're gonna just take it one step above so you look a little bit more elevated, a little bit more professional, and just a little bit more of your personality showing. So for this first look that I found, this one's super cute. It's a double denim look. So she has on just a pair of classic jeans. I'm sure they're jeans that just fit her pretty good. Straight leg pair of jeans, nothing crazy. And then she's paired it with a denim button up shirt. So she has a dual denim there in similar tones, which is a great key when pairing denim to make sure they are within one to two shades of each other. And then she just made it elevated by adding a like blazer trench coat on top. So that's hitting her like at the calf. It's a little bit more of like a statement piece and she chose a brown to mix with the blue. So it just gives a little contrast. And then she added a crossbody, giving it like that sporty elevated vibe. So really simple. And then she just paired a pair of Nike shoes it looks like. So it's very simple to look at, but if she was just wearing the jeans with a t-shirt, you wouldn't think anything of the outfit. But where she added the bag and the blazer, it just takes it that one step above, which we want when getting dressed to show our personality a little bit more. Into the second look, this one is a little bit more color driven. So she has on a denim maxi skirt, super cute, showing a little bit more of skin, just a slit up to the knee, but still professional. It's hitting at the knee. And then she's paired it with a black button down shirt, which again, we all have these things in our closet. It's just about pairing them the right way. And she's left it a little bit more unbuttoned for that relaxed feel. And then she chose her pop of color with this lime green color, a little more of a muted lime green. So it's that pop of color. She just looks like really relaxed and like, if you had to show up to a work meeting with this lady, you'd be like, she looks comfortable, she looks approachable, and she also looks fashion forward. So that's like the vibes I'm getting from looking at this picture. And then she's paired it with like a really fun loafer that has chains on them. So you can see her personality. She's easygoing, she's professional, and she looks fun. So that's basically what you're trying to do when you're getting dressed. You want to give off to the world what you're trying to say. I'm fun, I'm professional, and I'm approachable. You can tell by the outfit that this lady is that. So think about those things when you're getting dressed. What am I trying to give off today? Am I trying to be professional? Am I trying to be fun? Do I wanna look motivated? Like just think about those simple things, what you're trying to give off, and that will make it easier when grabbing pieces to get dressed. Going into the third look, this one's pretty simple. She's wearing a pleated midi skirt. It's hitting her at the calf. These are super popular right now. And she kept it a little more streetwear driven with adding the really big graphic t-shirt. I think it's super cute. And then she just added a bunch of chunky chains by the neckline. So really simple. She could have worn this with a pair of jeans, but she wanted to look a little bit more like edgy and fun at the same time. So she has the graphic tee, the skirt, and then a pair of heels. It's just all working. She looks like she works in a creative field. So you can tell just she's keeping up with the trends with this outfit. Not crazy colors or anything, but it's still a fun outfit versus a jeans and t-shirt look. The fourth one, I do really like this one too. She has on just a basic pair of denim, a little bit more of a flared style, and she chose this really oversized button down like gown cape thing. This is probably more of like a romantic vibe it's looking like, but it's just the simplicity of it. Like she, the way she has it buttoned, it's just showing her personality a little bit more. She looks super fun. And again, she kind of looks like she works in the creative field too. So it's just about elevating it one step. She buttoned it differently and she added a waist bag. So it's just interesting to look at, even though it's a simple outfit. The last one is just an elevated version of jeans and a hoodie. So I love that she's wearing a pair of leather pants. Again, these are things we all commonly have in our closet. We're just not choosing to pair them with these certain things. So it's just, I'm here to make you think differently and let's reach out into our closet and grab something that's more a personality than just a t-shirt and jeans or a hoodie and jeans. She has the leather pants on, which by themselves is kind of a statement piece, but she's still keeping it pretty casual with the hoodie here. She chose the hoodie in a green color and then to make the hoodie tie in, she wore a green pair of shoes and then she added a handbag too. So the heeled boots and the bag are making it elevated. It's just about pairing casual with an elevated piece and just finding that perfect balance in the middle, which this outfit is great. She still looks professional, but also relaxed at the same time. Getting dressed for work doesn't have to be some crazy thing. It's just about grabbing a pair of leather pants instead of a pair of jeans or grabbing a colorful item instead of a black item. It's as simple as that. Now we're gonna be jumping into the fashion forward business looks that I've picked. And I do really love this category because it's mixing the fashion world, which I love, and also the professional environment and the creative Fill that I work in. So this is how I tend to get dressed every day, fashion forward in mind, also still professional. So for the first look that I found, this one's pretty simple, but these are all things that are on trend right now and pretty easy to find. So she has on a black pair of slacks here, a more relaxed fit. They just look great on her since she's a little bit taller. And then she's picked a vest here, but it's an oversized like blazer vest, which is super in, especially for the summer. It's hot outside. We don't want to be in something big and chunky and it's weighing us down. So this is perfect. It has that nice V neck silhouette. So it's just a really relaxed fit around the shoulder. It has a little bit of volume in the shoulder, which is really nice. She kept it really simple with a black pair of chunky loafers and then a black leather tote bag. 
I think a black leather tote bag is a great investment if you're working in a professional setting. It looks a lot better to walk in with something that's structured and leather just looks high end. So that's a great piece to add if you're carrying your things to and from work. I really highly recommend that. And going into the second look that I found, I love this one as well. So she has it layered a bunch of different ways, which is I think the key too. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of new things. You can layer with things you already have at home. So for this, she has a classic white button up shirt and then she's layered it with a sweater tube top on her midsection. So it's really interesting to look at. I'm assuming she's like in her mid twenties or something, working in a creative field, marketing maybe. Even with this, it doesn't look unprofessional. She still looks modest. She's not showing a ton of skin. So these are still things you can try and you're still gonna fit in in the workplace. And then she's just layered a oversized blazer on top. And then she's just wearing a really baggy pair of slacks. I love this outfit. It looks relaxed, it looks casual. It looks like high fashion, like she could be in charge of running a photo shoot or she's running a meeting and she's fashion forward and she looks great. So I love that option. Going into the third outfit that I found, this one is for all the boss ladies. I know we have a ton of those here. So she is wearing a midi dress. It's long sleeve, it's collared, and it's just a white dress. But the thing I love about it, it's fitted to her body really well. It's not overwhelmingly big. It's not underwhelmingly like super tight. It looks professional. She looks relaxed, but she also like is showing off her body in a professional way. And the details on the dress are the thing that I love about it. It has pearls on it, beading, it looks expensive. And dresses are a great way to show up for work because it's one piece. You don't have to go and sift through all the things that you have. You put on one really great piece, a bag, and she even paired it with just a sneaker. So if you're like, I don't wear heels, I don't wanna do all that, you can still pair a really beautiful dress with a pair of classic white sneakers. That is one staple in your closet that you definitely need is a pair of white sneakers. I wear mine to death, keep them clean, but you can wear them with every type of outfit. And then she chose a statement earring as well. So all together, this whole look is really simple, but elevated. Like if she was interviewing you, you'd be like, I need to know this woman. Who is she? She looks like she knows what she's doing. Going into the fourth outfit. I love this one as well. I'm like such a matching suit girl, but this is like a little bit more of like an eclectic suit, a little bit more relaxed. It's not like thick material. You can tell it's a little bit of more like my shirt too. It's just really flowy and it's pink checkers. I love this. I like the way that she doesn't have a shirt underneath. She's layered it with jewelry instead. And even though it has a low cut, it's still professional. She's not showing too much skin. She's got some structure through the shoulders here and the pants have a wide leg flare past the knee. So you can see in this just looks really fun. She looks like she wants to have a good time at work. Like she would be the person you want to sit with at lunch. We're always just trying to dress with how we're feeling. I'm feeling fun. I'm feeling talkative. I'm feeling like I have a lot of energy. That's what she looks like she's showing up as. Last one for this one. This is definitely fashion forward. I can see a lot of girls in New York wearing this or a writer or a teacher even. It's still professional. She's just showing a little bit more of her personality. So she has this really fun pleated maxi skirt, which again, those are super in. Cream color, it's beautiful. It's gonna match a lot of things. And then she's paired it with a button up white top. But this one is more of a statement because it has that really big bow up here. And it even looks like it has some gold detailing. So that's a super cool piece. I love like big bows. Obviously it happened in my hair today, but it's just adding interest to the outfit. It makes me like, whoa, just like want to look at it longer. Her sweater is my favorite part. It's oversized like cardigan sweater and it has like patchwork and lettering and just like fun graphics on it. Very streetwear. So I love that she's mixing streetwear with the more elegant pieces and she has a fun pop of color with her shoes and bag. It's just overall really well done. It's not too much, it's not too little. She looks professional and she looks super fun and fashion forward. Hopefully between all the looks that I showed you, you have some great inspiration moving forward, getting ready for your next work week. I think life is all about having fun and feeling confident. Again, we spend so much time at work, so why not make it fun and just feel inspired when you get up in the morning. Do something different, add another necklace, wear a color you don't normally wear and just keep playing with it. That's all style is. It's just trying things, seeing what works and from there, you'll keep building your style. You'll keep building confidence. Getting dressed can truly be such a highlight of your day. You'll start planning outfits the night in advance like I do, but just try things. And if you need more style advice, I'm here to do styling sessions. So I'll link my little box here. We'll chat one-on-one -on -one and we can really hone in on what you feel like you're missing in your closet. And I have a lot more outfit ideas that you could wear to work. So we'll see you next time.